Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody wanted to know how, and it's a terrible picture they sent on Facebook, how to draw this part that's inside this circle. Well, I kind of drew one, or my representation of one. You could, I, you could play around with it and make it identical. But let's just take a circle, holding down the control button, and hit P and put it in the center of the page. That's pretty important, but we can do a lot. And we're going to use the twirl tool and just set it on one revolution and make it about the size of the circle. And then we can bring this puppy in into the inside of the circle. And if you remember, I said, I put this, and we don't have to do this. I put the circle in the, in the center so we can rotate it. And then we could actually kind of move these nodes around, make it look a little smoother. You could actually try deleting nodes. And then look at that sweep we have now. Now we could, you know what, delete that node. No, I like that. I like the way it looked. And we could bring the sweep around and bring these handles around and make it a little bit more of a sweep. Now what we can do is control D and make a duplicate of that, that line. And we can move it off one way or the other. We're going to go to the inside because we want that thickness right there. But the outside is a little different, so we can take the shape tool. And you, you notice it's highlighted, so we got the inside, so we need to take the outside and just kind of match it up. And we can do a lot with this. And you could play around with this for hours. And, well, not hours, but a long time do you get it to the way you want it. And you could even have them touch there but for the, we're gonna make it look like the original kind of. We don't have to do this, but I'm gonna take the virtual segment delete key and delete that. I don't like the way that corner looks, you know, when it starts being abruptly. So we could grab that right there and you can notice that's part of our circle. So we could actually bring this up more and kind of sweep that out. Now, if you notice my handle move so we can right click and turn that into a cusp and by doing that the other part of the line doesn't move we'll go ahead and delete that extra red line it's still not perfect there's a lot you could do with this but for the video that's good enough and then i would just put a line across here take your smart fill tool and fill that in and voila you have it uh pretty close you could maybe make it a little bit thicker in areas or thinner than areas, but it looks like it's coming out of that circle. And now that you've used the Smart Fill tool, there's a lot more you can do with it because now it's one piece, so you could change a lot. That that does look better. You know, kind of emphasize the that part. You could actually probably take away this node. Nope, can't take away that node. But that way, it kind of looks like it comes out if we've still got this handle. And you could add nodes, you know, here and change your whatever you want to change. But that's pretty close to that. Maybe even, you know, more of a spiral uh, effect would have worked. And see, you even you've lost some of your inner part. But as long as you grab that node and bring it up, and that looked pretty good. Anyway, I hope that helped and answered his question. And thank you for watching.